Yo, so if you want to produce songs like this, then this is a perfect video for you. So today I'm going to be breaking down a beat that I made that Marky B ended up using. The song ended up getting over 1.5 million streams across all platforms. So you know if you make a beat similar to this, that it's got a good chance of doing good numbers like this one did for me. So first thing that's key with these beats is that organ melody sound. And this sound comes from the COG M1 VST, which if you want to make these types of beats, it's going to be essential that you get this. However, if you use Serum, you can get presets on Splice. Also, I've got kits on my website that has one shots for the organing of organs that I've used in the past. So that's another option for you there. Now, here's a melody that I came up with for the Naughty Ride tune. This melody is in B flat minor and it works really well because you can get the keys quite close together which gives it that sort of darker feel. Another key that I really like to use is C sharp minor for these sorts of beats because it's another one that just helps you get that darker feel. Something you're going to want to do when it comes to the organ sound is add quite a lot of processing to make it unique to your sound or to give it a solid sound just because the Korg M1 straight out of how it is doesn't sound that great. I usually turn off all the onboard effects that come on the Korg M1 and add my own just because I don't really like the ones that it comes with preset. Another essential part to making your organ melody is that you want to make it really bouncy, so you want to use these offbeat notes. You don't want it just going like dun 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 dun, dun on the on the beats. You want it to be like like the 450 tune where it's like dun 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 dun. So it's really bouncy, really chop it on the offbeat, so play around with that. Now the next essential part to all of these sorts of beats that I always add in is just a high string on the root note. If you don't know what the root note is, whatever key you're in, that's your root note. So this is in B flat minor, so his root note is B flat. And what I do is I just add it to quite a high octave and just have it playing throughout and put a side chain on it to make it have that sort of bouncy feel. And this is what that sounds like. Now as far as the melody goes and the instrumentation, that's pretty much it. The only other thing I might do with this is you can layer, say, a lower octave of the organ just to add a bit of beef to it, or you might want to add an FM bass or something like that, which is kind of like a donkey sounding bass. That you could get in Serum or something, or it is in the one shots in some of my kits on my website. So as I said, for instrumentation wise on the melody stuff, it's pretty much done. So we need to just move on to the drums now. Now for the drums, sound selection is super important. You're gonna want to use a house sounding kit. I use sounds from my turbo kit on this tune. First things first is we need a kick going on beats one, two, three, and four. So it's just constant, just boom, 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 boom. Next, we wanna add a clap on beats two and four. Then we want to add the hi-hats on every off beats, the and of one, the and of two, the and of three, the and of four. And then we've got that solid bare bones of the beat, which is fine just to use as it is. But you might want to add extra sauce to it, like top loops or anything like that, which is what I've done here. So I've added an offbeat snare, a top loop and a tambourine. And what I do is I bring these in and take them out as the track goes on to sort of just add extra bits of like ear candy while you're listening to the tune. Because the thing is with these beats is they're very repetitive, very the same. So you need to add little bits here and there, take bits out to keep it interesting for the rapper to say, oh yeah, I like that beat. And also for the listener to not get bored through listening to the tune. Now that's pretty much it for this beat like that's all you really need bare burns other than that you just need to add interesting effects and stuff like that so you might want to cut the lows on the bass so it's just filtering the highs what i've done with this beat is i've added rises and crashes in to make it a bit more interesting and i've also done a reverse bass i'm going to play you the beat now so you can hear what it sounds like then after we're going to cook up a beat from start to finish so you can see the process a bit more in depth now you know how they're made <laughs> Yo, so we're now in Logic and we're going to be making one of these beats from scratch. These beats tend to range from anything to 1, 2, 4 to 1, 3, 5 sort of tempo. Let's load up the Korg M1 VST. 
and we're going to be going in browser click this prog button click on organ and then it's the organ too that we want like i said before in the previous section we're going to turn off all the effects not really rate how they sound i'm just going to solo the organ 2 sound as well on here because it comes with like laser sound so yeah just click solo on the organ 2 also the plugin runs much better with no effects on it and as you can hear it's just got that that perfect sound straight away but obviously we're going to mess with it add a bit of reverb on and stuff like that i'm going to go for c sharp minor for the key just because that's probably my favorite key to make the, these sorts of beats in i know the other one was in a different key but yeah this is usually my go-to key Yeah, so I'm going to add a little variation between the endings, just swap around a couple of notes just so that it doesn't get old to listen to. Yeah, so the last two notes just swapped around the second time around just to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, so quantize that and it's bang on sound wise. Gonna go into my turbo kit and pick out some drum sounds. Can turn off that metronome now. Sounding good. Just gonna cut the lows a bit on this, just so it's a bit cleaner. And then I'm also going to add the side chain on the organ just so it cuts through nicely. Yep, there we go. Kick is cutting through nicely. Now for the claps. simple beat and then I think let's just add a little bit of something interesting the first one there don't want to overdo it on these because they can get annoying if you do it too much there you go let's have that nice and quiet I'm gonna go back into the M1 and get uh, the string Get the high string noise. I like this uh, preset, this Dina string or Diana, I don't know how you say it. Yeah, this one sounds good. What I usually do, super lazy, but um, drag the organ melody down. Select all the notes, shift click on this to deselect it. Then you've got your root note because you started on that, so you already know that it's the right note. And I usually go like high to the point where you think that sounds too high, but it just, you have it quiet and it fills out that top space. And I'm going to sync the audio rather than sidechain it to the kick because I still want it to have that effect on it when even when the kick's not playing. Just put the drums in a bus so it's easier to manage. Let's add some effects to this organ now, get it sounding a bit nicer. Uh, using the Valhalla Vintage Refurb and I really like this metal synth preset. Turn the decay down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of delay using H delay from waves. I think that's sounding great so far. Let's just put a little compression on it. Keep it a bit flatter. Sometimes I like to put this OTT plugin on it just to give it a super, I don't know, like in your face effect. I think that's sounding good. Just add some nice saturation. Now, like I said previously, you can add like another layer of this. So you can just copy the org and drop it an octave to add that extra layer of bass, but I'd recommend turning the Valhalla reverb off. And you 
going to add it here, it just adds that bit of beef. So yeah, I think drums wise, it's sounding like it's missing something now. So I'm going to go in the drum loop section of the turbo kit, click on one of these, click in the stems. That's probably not the right vibe. Yeah, let's use this tambourine. That should add an extra something. So that's going to be a drop. That's that sorted. Going to move this over eight bars so then we can do a bit of a build up. Copy the first bass over. Now we just need some effects in. So we'll get a riser first. Want some sort of crash. Something we can do is add like a little one, two, three, four crash sort of thing. Get that going like that. Then we'll add another crash that's a bit more heavy hitting. I think this one's good because it's got a nice bit of low end to it. There we go. Alright people, thank you for watching this video, I hope it's helped you out, if it has don't forget to smash the like, hit the subscribe for more like this, and if you want to get any of the sounds used in this video then check the link in the description. Thank you for watching.